less than 12 weeks to go before the release of Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Jorg, the CEO of Flight Simulator, was interviewed about the 2024 sim over at this year's Gamescon recently and listed a bunch of features we are expected to see with the release. Some we did know about and some we didn't. We have all the latest sim development news on 2024 as well as this week's big third party announcements and release news. So let's jump into the video. Before we jump into this week's previews and announcements, Gamescon 2024 is one of the biggest games convention in the world. It was held last week and Jorg, the CEO of Flight Sim, was interviewed by Xbox about the up and coming 2024 sim. With only less than 12 weeks away from the release, there were features mentioned in the interview that will most likely make the release in November. Stay tuned to the end of the video as we will explain all about that interview, but first you may want want to check out all of this week's announcements and release news to make sure you're not missing out on any key product releases or developments. Kicking off this week's previews and announcements, iFly have released some new external shots of its in-development Boeing 737 MAX 8. In recent times, the team have been showcasing previews of the cabin and the cockpit, and now here's a few images of the aircraft exterior. The team mentions that these screenshots are still very preliminary, but they are far along to start showing them off to the community. No details on exactly what features we are expected to see with the release of the Max or the release date of when we will see it in our sims. That being said, it was announced by Microsoft recently that they were releasing their own version of the Max for the new 2024 sim. It will be the most complex Sobo and Microsoft airliner yet. Let's just hope it's not the one or the hinted couple of aircraft in last month's development live stream that was mentioned may not make the first release of the sim. But for sure, between Microsoft and iFly, the Max market is definitely heating up. Aerosoft this week have announced their release date for the up and coming Frankfurt Airport. The team has been releasing a series of videos produced by the guys over at Aviation Lads at YouTube channel about the development process and features that we expect to see with the Frankfurt release. The Aerosoft team has announced that Frankfurt will release on September the 5th, so it's only a short wait, and Aerosoft will host a release party with some well-known flight simmer content creators and a VATSIM event to celebrate the occasion. It's great to see the efforts again that Aerosoft is going to to interact with the flight sim community because it was getting a little bit bleak at one stage. A big shout out to the team over at Aviation Lads YouTube channel for producing the videos for Frankfurt. They look absolutely amazing. They create great flight sim trailers for all the big releases. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can jump out and give them a follow or a subscribe and you can check out the latest flight sim trailers over there. A big thank you to Protest Sims for sponsoring this YouTube video. Their products enhance your current flight simulator hardware by turning your flight controls into something closer to the real thing. The team makes different add-ons for flight controls such as Honeycomb, SciTech and Velocity over a variety of different aircraft including Boeing, BAE, Cessna Citation, VisionJet, TBM just to mention a few. The current add-on I'm using at the moment is the Protest Sims new dual action Boeing 737 add-on for the Honeycomb Bravo, which features a detent flap and speed brakes. This really improves the immersion and realism of my flights. For Oz Flight Sim viewers, you can use this code AUSFS on at checkout for a 15% discount on all Protest Sim products. I'll leave a link in the description of where you can check out their page and a big thank you to our friends over at Protest Sims for sponsoring this video. PMDG teased an all new aircraft project and admits it's been in development and a time to give us a little bit of an update. Robert, the CEO of PMDG, mentions in this week's update post that the PMDG team started developing a secret project at the start of 2024 and that this project is now in its advanced stages and taking shape. PMDG's latest post mentioned that the team has been focusing efforts to increase the detail level of the exterior of the aircraft and this was partly in response to the new walkaround feature that was mentioned and now is expected to release with the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 sim. 
Robert provided screenshots showcasing the level of detail they are going for. And Robert also mentions that this attempt to detail could lead to other interesting opportunities like modeling wear, damage, and other realistic features that pilots may face during their pre-flight inspections. It is hinted that the third party developers have not received access to the 2024 SDK and may not see them until October. But it does make you wonder how many other developers like PMDG are making strides to improve their add-ons to take advantage and shorten the development time as much as they can with this 2024 new tech. Some hardware news this week. Verpal this week teased us at what it looks like to be a new yoke to add to the company's hardware lineup. From the looks of it with the one and only screenshot, it appears to be a distinctive shape of a yoke. In the same post, Verpal mentions Verpal Airlines prepare to depart. This may be a hint of an airliner based yoke. Verpal's current lineup for flight sim hardware consists of throttles, several sticks, collectors and rudder pedals and are really geared up up to the military aspect of flight sim. This is the first time we have seen Verpal developing a yoke for the flight sim market. There was no other details than the one and only screenshot that was teased on the Facebook page, but of course we will keep you posted. As with all the big development projects such as PMDG, Aerosoft Frankfurt and Verpal Yokes as we just mentioned before and that many others week on week including all the Microsoft Flight Simulator development news, we scroll through the internet to provide you all the latest news so you don't have to and we hope it saves you a lot of time. So please consider subscribing to the best flight sim updates on YouTube and to get up to date each and every week with the latest flight sim information. Taxiing over to this week's release news, SoFly have released two airports in one week. They've been very busy this week. The first airport is Cardiff, which was announced last week, and SoFly has mentioned this is the most detailed Cardiff release for Microsoft Flight Simulator yet. The Cardiff International Airport is located in Ralphs, Wales, and in 2022 had over 850,000 passengers enter through its gates. The airlines that you will see frequent here are Aer Lingus, KLM, Logan Air, Ryanair and TUI Airways just to mention a few. SoFly mentions in their announcements a week ago that they were towards the end of the development when it comes to Cardiff when Microsoft announced their handcrafted version. However, SoFly mentions they continued to work on Cardiff and got feedback from the community of what details they liked and what details they didn't like in the, the current versions and when improved theirs. And they mentioned that this is the most detailed version of Cardiff yet. Features include with the releases are high quality textures used throughout detail projected ground polys, dynamic lighting, model control tower, animated British Airways maintenance hangar, realistic clutter, custom GSX profiles, performance friendly on all scenarios and you can pick up your copy of SoFly's Cardiff directly from the i9 build store or the SoFly store, I'll leave links in the description below. The other release from the SoFly this week is the Mercedia Airport developed by Photo Rico Sceneries. The airport is located in Puerto Rico and serves over 200,000 passengers a year with 6,000 aircraft movements. Frontier Airlines and JetBlue frequently fly here to Orlando and New York. Photo Rico's version of the airport includes every building modeled in full detail with PBR textures, realistic night lighting, local police force ramp modeled custom landmarks and VFR reference points, correct runway lights, custom detail ramp taxiways and runway textures. You can pick up your copy of Photo Rico's Sceneries Mercedia Airport directly from the SoFly store. I'll leave a link in the description below. Moving over to some aircraft releases for the week, Top Mark has released their rendition of the B-2 Spirit Bomber. The team mentions they have worked on the B-2 for well over a year to bring it to life within Microsoft Flight Simulator. The B-2 is a difficult aircraft to develop considering its classified nature and the limited public information available. However, the development team went to great lengths to ensure the accuracy and authenticity of the B-2. The team received feedback from a real world B2 pilots and maintainers within the limits of operation security and in the last few years the United States Air Force has allowed any publicity available photographic and video footage from the inside of the cockpits of the B2 to become available. Top Mark's B2 Spirit comes with 21 detailed liveries 
intricate modeling including weapons bay wheel bays and surface details fully functional multi-function displays with customized instruments robust crew alert system with visual and audio warnings interactive checklist systems integrated into the center information display custom fly by wire controls highly realistic sound suite developed by echo 19 audio detailed interior sounds replicating all the major systems and interactions and you can pick up your copy of top mark a B2 Spirit for PC through the Insima Marketplace and the team at mentions they will keep us posted on updates for the Xbox Marketplace release to come in the future. Our next aircraft release for the week is something a little new for the aviation world and that is electric aircraft. The team over at live to air have released its uh, Evation Alice full electric aircraft. The Alice is a prototype and was unveiled at the 2019 Paris Air Show and in the 2021 Air Show its second prototype went flying and now the team is working on its prototype number three. live to airs version of the Alice for Microsoft Flight Simulator is based on the second prototype and it follows the calculated performance and not the performance of the actual first flight as the performance didn't go to plan and this is the reason why the team has gone back and working on a prototype number three that being said this release version is prototype number two hopefully that makes sense features with the release includes fully customized electric systems custom g3000 detail efb custom wise sound set three variants with a different Different cabin layouts including commuter, cargo and luxury, wing flex animations, one cargo livery, six commuter liveries and seven luxury liveries. You can pick up your copy of Live to Air's Alice directly from the Sim Market store, any builds or the flightsim.to. I will leave some links in the description below. At the time of creating this video, this next aircraft release was not released. However, we are expecting it to release any minute now. And this is the i9 Builds T33 Trainer. Announced a few short weeks ago that the T33 has been developed as a collaboration between i9 Builds and Simwork Studios. The T33 is a versatile turbojet training aircraft that was used by over 20 different forces globally and it was the first American built jet fighter that entered service in 1945. Key features included with this release is a detailed rendition of the aircraft inside and out, detailed realistic canopy covers, toggleable chocks and entry ladders to allow realistic grounded configurations, engine plugs, pitot covers, air show smoke effects, realistic wing mounted drop bombs for PC only, forward and rear cockpits with interactive controls for both the front and the rear seats, engine modeling and performance is based on authentic data and you can pick up your copy of the T33 trainer from I and I build store using the links below. Lining up on the runway for this week's Flight Sim update news, the Microsoft Flight Simulator team last week were visiting a GamesCon. If you're not familiar with GamesCon, it's the, one of the biggest a trade fair and video game conventions in the world with over 1,000 exhibitors and attendance over 300,000 each year. Gamescon is the place where some of the world's biggest game developers announce and, and update their communities on their, the current status of their games. Jorg, the CEO of Flight Sim, was interviewed about the 2024 Sim from Xbox themselves, and with less than 13 weeks before the new 2024 Sim goes live, we had already heard this on the last development live stream that we may be missing some aircraft. So this was a very interesting interview that confirmed what features we should expect in the new Sim and considering there is only a less than 13 weeks to go, I would say these ones are pretty much locked in. Some of these have been announced already and some of these I, well, personally haven't heard about before. I will list and talk about what features were mentioned in the interview. Jorg mentioned in the interview that the 2024 sim is the biggest undertaking in flight simulation ever. It's the biggest fleet, the most airports, and the most sophisticated flight model and the best flight physics the team has ever done. The digital twin world as they like to call it is taking leaps and bounds and very much different to what we have in the sim today. Seasons have been added, worldwide ship traffic will be included, worldwide oil rigs, worldwide helipads and worldwide glider airports are all being included throughout the world. In Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 it's the first time you can exit your aircraft and walk around the digital twin world so they have added tons of 
of detail everywhere in the world to really bring it up to what the expectation would be, not just in the air, but to walk around as a human being. All new career systems with dozens of authentic aviation activities, short burst activities like low altitude challenges and landing challenges. From the sounds of it, when it comes to that interview, these are the main features that the Microsoft team will go to market with the new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. We have short burst activities which are in the 2020 sim now, but in this interview was the first time we've heard about them being low altitude challenges. This could be another way of saying bush trip, or it could be a whole new type of challenges that we haven't seen before. We should start hearing a lot more information about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, including in-sim footage from about mid-September. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and follow the channel and we'll be bringing you as much content about the new 2024 sim as possible. Moving over to this week's InSim Marketplace backlog list, we have seen a total deduction of 30 new products to 238 week on week when it comes to new products in the queue for the InSim Marketplace. Aircraft are up by 4 to 18, missions are down by 34, sceneries are holding steady at 25, liveries are up by 2, airports are up by 8 and others are up by 2. This week we were traded to a double release for the InSim Marketplace releases. Since Monday we only had three products in total, I'm gonna to combine both of these together. This week we had a total of 94 new products, we are 49 are on PC and 45 were available on Xbox. Two aircraft were released this week. The first one is the B2 Spirit from Topmark, which we mentioned in the video earlier. And the other aircraft is another version of the C-130 Hercules from Captain Sim. This is the E version. The other releases for the week include four livery packs, 22 mission packs, all by VA Simulations. It's like spam for the marketplace, but it's from VA Simulations. Four night lighting packs and 11 airports. Big shout out to the team over at Aviation Lads who produce many of the product release trailers that you've seen this week. The guys have done a great job. I'll leave links in the description to the channel so you can go over there and smash the subscribe button. And speaking of subscribing, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do that before you move on to your next YouTube video. And we look forward to bringing you our next video or flight sim stream real soon.